Diagnosing a broken image using inspect. So as you can see on the page in front of us, uh, there are two images supposed to be on this page. The first one is working and the one down below is not. This happens from time to time on websites for a variety of different reasons. It can be the problem of the website. It can be your internet connection. It can be your machine. There is a tool built into both Chrome and Firefox that can actually either help you diagnose the problem yourself or provide invaluable data to the website owner to understand what might be going on. So what I'm going to do is right click on the broken image, wondering Walter here, and click on inspect. Now inspect is a super geeky a tool that's built into these browsers that's really intended for folks who truly understand HTML and page layout uh, and the language behind it. I'm going to show you a couple of different things real quick. One is by right clicking and selecting inspect on the image, we actually are taken to the HTML specifically for that image. Now I'm going to pretend that I don't see what's wrong here. The other approach to poking around and seeing what the HTML for anything on a screen is, is to click on this little arrow, select an element in the page to inspect it. What will happen now is as I mouse over the actual page, the HTML on the right hand side is changing. Once we click on it, that stops and we're back to where we were. You'll notice also that as we move the mouse around the HTML in that right hand pane, the various components are being highlighted on the left. Now, all of this is interesting and like I said, may give you a quick heads up as to what's going on with the image. Um, if you can tell from this alone, great. But there's another thing that actually turns out to be actually more useful in many, many cases. And that is to go over to the console and sure enough, you'll see that failed to load resource the server responded with a status of 404. Well, 404 is file not found. So what I'm going to do here is change the layout of this window, this inspection window, so that we can see it a little bit better. Instead of having it to the side here where it's kind of narrow, I'm gonna go ahead and click on these ellipses here and have it dock on the bottom. Now we can see the entire thing. And we can see this is actually what now 300 by 300, which is the picture we were looking for. If we mouse over it, we can see the full URL to the image. So we know that this image at that URL has not been found. And in fact, it's now obvious why it hasn't been found. This is an image and I've missed the J in front of JPG. It's asking for a PG file. So in other words, on the one that's broken down here, I simply missed the J in JPG. That's my fix. Now, I'm going to leave this page broken. You're actually welcome to come visit it. It's askleo.com slash broken dash image dash example. Uh, the thing to pay attention to and the thing that is probably most valuable when reporting this error to someone else is this here in the console, this error message that tells us something is broken and exactly what it is. In fact, like I said, mousing over the item gives you the full URL to what it thinks is missing. If you're reporting this to someone else, my recommendation would be to take a screenshot if not of the entire page, at least the relevant portions of the console here at the bottom so that you can give the person you're reporting this to as much information as you possibly can. Now I've shown you all of this using Google Chrome. The Firefox browser has a very similar, if not almost identical functionality in terms of inspect. There may be add-ons for other browsers, Honestly, my recommendation is no matter what browser you use, if you're experiencing a problem that you're having trouble diagnosing, fire up Chrome or fire up Firefox and use this functionality to try and gather as much information about the error as you can. That's using Inspect to diagnose a broken image. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is AskLeo.com. And this is Walter.